fans in frenzy as William turned Harry's career to ashes, authenticity versus empty grandstanding. Prince William has been lauded for his candor and warmth in a special edition podcast episode, whereas his brother, Prince Harry, was slammed by a columnist as inauthentic and alienating. Sarah Vine praised the Duke of Cambridge for passing the ultimate test of a person's character and maturity, achieving industrious authenticity while avoiding the trap of empty grandstanding. Writing for the Mail on Sunday, Ms. Vine commented. Show, don't tell. That, I was always taught, is the basis of successful writing. Don't bludgeon people with grand pronouncements, rather take them on a thoughtful journey of discovery which, hopefully, will lead you both to the same conclusion. Prince William's Time to Walk podcast is the perfect example. Everything about it, from the concept to the simplicity and sincerity of its execution, and the fact that Apple is making a six-figure donation to charity on his behalf, reinforces the impression of the Duke of Cambridge as someone who understands the crucial difference between superficial sentiment and meaningful action. By showing, not telling those around you, in his case that includes the millions of British citizens who look to the monarchy for guidance and inspiration, why you deserve your status in life. In just 38 minutes strolling gently through the Norfolk countryside, we learn what so many royal watchers have lately come to sense is true of William. She continued that the future king, 39, embodies rather than wears the mantle of royalty, combining duty with a real and heartfelt connection to other people. She called the Duke a remarkably well-rounded human being with an acute understanding of the responsibilities and challenges of his role. There's not a hint of self-pity in what he says. No anger, no desire to lash out or wound. Just a calmness, mercifully devoid of clichés or woke speak. In the podcast, Prince William opened up about wrestling with depression following a tragic incident in which he was confronted with the mortality of his eldest son, Prince George. He recounted how one event, which he witnessed when working as a helicopter pilot for the air ambulance service. The Duke of Cambridge was part of a team working to save a seriously injured young boy, only a few years apart in age from Prince George. In the episode, Prince William relayed just how much the incident impacted him, describing how in his worldview something had changed after that day. In the prince's detailed recounting of his depressive feelings, which made him feel as if the whole world was dying, the darkness surrounding his thoughts intensified over the following weeks. He likened his experience to if someone had put a key in a lock and opened it without me giving permission to do that. He added, you just feel everyone's pain, everyone's suffering. And that's not me. I've never felt that before. It is thought that the day to which the Duke was referring was the one in which Bobby Hughes, 5, was left with brain damage after a car accident. Sarah Vine added, there is much about this podcast, particularly in the Prince's memories of his mother and grandfather, and of his time flying helicopters, that feels a little sad, a little wistful. But while those moments may seem bittersweet, he's never bitter. Which brings me, sadly, to his brother Harry. She did not have the same praise for the Duke of Sussex, adding, if William's experiences have shaped him into a thoughtful, rather noble individual, poor Harry's seem to have done the opposite. Where William is funny, self-deprecating, down-to-earth, philosophical about life's trials, Harry, as we have seen time and again over the course of the past few months, is peevish, self-obsessed, grandstanding. She continued, the contrast between Harry's approach and William's could not be starker. And this brief insight into William's character offers us the clearest explanation yet of why relations between the two brothers have become so strained. Ms. Vine remarked, for someone as measured and as thoughtful as William, his brother's constant outbursts and apparent disregard for anyone else's feelings save his own must be at best baffling, at worst infuriating, be it fans.
devoid of cliches or woke speak. In the podcast, Prince William opened up about wrestling with depression following a tragic incident in which he was confronted with the mortality of his eldest son, Prince George. He recounted how one event, which he witnessed when working as a helicopter pilot for the air ambulance service. The Duke of Cambridge was part of a team working to save a seriously injured young boy, only a few years apart in age from Prince George. In the episode, Prince William relayed just how much the incident impacted him, describing how in his worldview something had changed after that day. In the prince's detailed recounting of his depressive feelings, which made him feel as if the whole world was dying, the darkness surrounding his thoughts intensified over the following